used to be that person in school who when the teacher or professor would ask a question or ask for contribution i think critically about my answer how it's relevant to the question if it helps if it's a good time to bring it up i basically overthink talking about it until the time passed it then started to sink in while in secondary school that maybe i might just be an introvert because i struggled with not being super social and the first one to jump on ideas and then i started to think something was wrong with me it wasn't until years later i started to see the great strengths that come with being an introvert and making the best of it you may not believe it but introverts are only 25 to 40 percent of the population yet we are responsible for over 50 percent of the world's innovation and yes i said we it feels as if extroverts are typically praised for their ability to be socially confident and lead while introverts are seen as shy and awkward nerds this is not another one of those videos that come to shame extroverts and talk about how we introverts are better no but i think that it is very important that we recognize that we have strengths as well which easily gets overlooked and most times are not considered in our relationships and even in workplaces. In this video, I'm going to change your perspective as an introvert watching this and show you the unpopular and not often spoken about strengths that come with your quiet side. Those superpowers that come with your overthinking, shy and reserved self. Now the first strength that you have is your depth. Just like my personal situation in class, I thought I was a slow thinker but I really began to see that I was just a deeper thinker. I thought beyond the surface about lots of things. The fact that you're probably slower to speak on stuff does not mean that you have less to say. Our quiet reflection is not a disadvantage and you should not see it as one. So for example, you might not exactly have a plethora of friends but you might find yourself creating stronger and more fulfilling relationships because you naturally gravitate towards deeper and more meaningful conversations instead of small talk. Another advantage of this is that you will find yourself more self-aware because you self-reflect, you have a better understanding of your strong areas and your weaknesses. Being able to think beyond the surface is not only the superpower you have as an introvert. Another gift that you may have is being able to listen and that can be pretty rare today. Everyone wants to be heard and sometimes people are just listening enough to have something to say and respond, not necessarily to understand. I've had scenarios where I was speaking to a friend who spoke to me about something weeks ago and they would be shocked that I remembered some important things that he mentioned that they didn't necessarily think I was paying attention to. As an introvert, one superpower you may have is the ability to pay attention to what's being said and sometimes even the things that are not being said. For example, you might find that your ability to listen helps you understand other people's feelings and perspectives and makes you more empathetic. One of the things I almost can't stop myself from doing, especially when alone, is reflecting. Whether I'm in the shower, at the gym, or taking a walk, I just can't stop it unless I listen to a podcast or music or try to focus my attention somewhere else. When we're alone, which is the best time for most introverts because that's when we recharge, we get a lot of clarity and it helps you figure out things like where you made mistakes or what you could have done better. But the last but not the least skill I'll talk about here is focus. My sister did a post on my birthday some years ago and she talked about how when we were much younger, I would lock myself up in a room while trying to study as far back as primary school. I honestly cannot remember that I used to do this, but I realized how it goes to show the length that I would personally go to avoid distractions once I need to focus. And that's a skill that a lot of you have and it could be channeled in a lot of productive things in your life. Although you get so immersed in the zone sometimes and you lose track of time like we all do, but imagine channeling this strength to developing like a skill, a business, there's just so much that could come out of that. The bottom line here, don't feel bad about loving your alone time a bit more than normal. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The one thing that differentiates an introvert from an extrovert is how we recharge. Introverts are able to recharge themselves with no external factors while extroverts are the opposites. So please don't try to fit in to please others. Remember that the world doesn't need more noise, it needs more people like you. I hope you could relate to what I spoke about and if you did, please hit the like button so that this video goes to show on more people's feeds. Um, also subscribe, comment if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video. Um, most importantly, please share this video with someone who needs to hear and I will see you in the next video. Bye!